After August, as if by magic, September appeared, ushering in a perplexing new vehicle for Noel Edmonds, which started off sounding like a political rally. Are you unhappy with life in Britain today? Yeah. Are you concerned with the lack of respect, compassion and freedom in our society? Yeah. Would you like to be part of a fairer, more caring Britain? Yeah, and I'll kill anyone who disagrees. You clearly feel frustrated and at times angry at the tidal wave of new rules, regulations and laws that have been introduced in the name of health and safety, security or the environment. Oh, yeah, bloody health and safety and security and the environment. I hate them. Well, the politicians, they've had their turn. Yeah, it's an uprising. Come on. It's down to you, me, them and everyone who wants to live in a more caring society. Is it going to involve any work? The show itself was essentially a combination of That's Life, Surprise, Surprise and the scenes where Peter Finch goes mad in Network. Half of it consisted of heartwarming acts of kindness to worthy causes, which is nice, but the other half was pure post-breakdown Alan Partridge as Noel, assisted here by Peter Cushing, grumbled about bloody red tape and tutted over small-minded local council policies. Busking bagpipers from one of Scotland's most famous streets in Edinburgh were made to sign acceptable behaviour contracts. Re <laughs> now, come on, restricting their playing times due to rules on licensing and noise. Well, that sounds quite reasonable to me. I mean, you don't want bagpipers playing late at night, so... Uh... Why are the police going after bagpipers? Why aren't they going after the yobs and the hoodies and the drugs? <laughs> oh, yeah, I hadn't seen it like that. Yeah, kill the hoodies and the drugs. Just to underline how bloody typical all these council officials are, Noel introduced the most embarrassing studio sequence ever. <laughs> Oh, f*** Britain.